Hi and welcome to Keeping Essex Active. My name is Hayley Pegg and I'm going to take you through some exercises today. We're going to look at tennis. So what I need you to have enough space, just an area in the garden, and make sure you have some water to keep you hydrated and we are going to warm up. So for today's session, all you need is some cones and we've gone with green, blue, yellow or red. But if you haven't got any cones, you can use clothing. So I've just found a green top, yellow, red and blue. So what I need you to do is I'll need you to put one in the front, one to the side, one to the back, and one there. And all we're going to do is jog on the spot and we're going to call out some colours. So I might go blue, red, yellow, green. So jog on the spot, I might come to yellow, blue, red, green. So that's the spot. So in tennis we have to work forward and backwards. So what we're going to do is come forward to yellow and back, come forward to yellow, and back and we might go to red and back green and back so red yellow green back so now as we're warming up we're thinking in tennis which way do we go left and right forward and backwards so now we're going to make it difficult so i'm going to come forward there back side side on the spot ready forward back green you're jogging on the spot. So, if you want to test yourself out, you can go up to 10. So we're going to go side to side for 10, forward and back for 10, and use the arm actions. Are you ready? Keep going. when you're coming forward you should be thinking I'm getting really hot now I'm warming up my breathing's going a tiny bit just like mine and we're going to really come forward so go all the way back to all those forwards so I'm going to sprint forward sprint back sprint forward sprint back sprint forward sprint back sprint forward sprint back as I'm jogging I may need to start marching for a bit just to get my breathing back but if I'm okay I'm going to keep jogging. So now we're going to go forward, back, side, side, times four. As quick as you can go. Are you ready? Steady, go. Back, side, side, back to middle. Forward, back, side, side, back to middle. Forward, Last one, forward, back, side, back to middle. Okay, brilliant. So now we're really warmed up and we can look at tennis. So what you need is either tennis ball and a tennis racket, or if you haven't got that, the saucepan can actually work really nicely for tennis. If you haven't got a tennis ball, I have just wrapped up some socks and it can do the same thing. So it's up to you what you use. If you want to challenge yourself, be my guest, use the tennis racket and the saucepan to do so. I'm going to be over the easy option and I'm going to use a tennis racket and a ball. So the first thing we're going to do is you use the tennis ball and we're going to throw it up in the air, just catch it. Just get used to coordination. So just 10, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, pretty easy. Now what you can do is throw the ball up in the air and then see how many claps you can do. Because we need to give ourselves a clap to keep it active at this time. So you ready? Three, four, five. But didn't catch it. If you don't catch, it doesn't count. So I managed four. Just going to repeat it. Four, six. Okay, I challenge you to 10. So if any of you can do 10, give me a tweet or a video through to Active to let us know. So now with the ball, what we're going to do is use a wall. So any piece of wall you have around your house would help. I'd advise not to use a window because you don't want to smash anything. 
So what we're gonna do, is throw the ball, get the ball, catch it. Throw, catch, throw, catch. If you want to make it harder, step back or step forward, up to you. Now you can challenge yourselves by going up and down the ladder. So I can start at one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, not to throw too high, otherwise it go over the house. So, I might want to challenge, jump, catch, jump, catch, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now what we're going to do is we're going to time one minute and see how many we can get. So you're ready to go with me, one minute, on your watches, are you ready, steady, on your toes, go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, halfway, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 23, 24, 25, 26, didn't count, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 15 seconds left, 31, <coughs> 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, <coughs> 40, and 41, I'm pretty sure you can beat that. Right, grab a drink if you need to. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keep active by using a racket. So coordination skills on the racket, how many can you do? If you want to make it hard to free yourself, <coughs> you can come back to our triangle here. So we can go forward, we can go back. We can go left and we can go right. So I might walk forward and back and forward and back, forward, back. And then what I might do is go left or right. So keep an eye on contact. Okay. <coughs> so when we have got that, we are then going to go into a bit of a challenge. We're going to see if we can bounce ball this side and then switch to this side. So, if it comes off the racket, just try again. Okay, how many can we do? Okay, so after that, getting used to the racket and the ball. So we're going to use our wall again, and we're going to bounce across the wall. Go back. Add it in running if your ball goes around the garden to go get it. So, bounce, there. doing is playing tennis against the wall but to challenge it what you might do is on your toes you need to go to the, this cone here so I'm going to bounce the ball go to the cone go back go to the cone go back go to the cone go back more tennis balls are going to go all the way around the garden so you're going to have to try and collect them so and again I'm going to work this way first against the wall back against the wall back against the wall back I'm running around. Now, what you'll find is the ball won't go exactly where you want it. So if you don't want to go for the racket, put the racket down and go back to using your hands. 
There, there. Move along. Move along. Move along. So we're keeping active. We're running long. I'm going to. Now, going back to this, is you're going to have it in the air and then bounce it. It doesn't like bouncing on breaking too much, but what we're going to do is bounce and run on spot. Can you keep bouncing ball while running on spot? If you want to challenge yourself, you're going to lunge with it. So, run on spot, lunge. Run in the spot, lunge, 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 and lunge. Make sure you swap feet though. Are you ready? Lunge, lunge, and lunge. Okay, back to jogging or marching on the spot and playing tennis against the ball. So, what we're going to do is try again. Hit it against the wall as many times as you can. So, in the ball. <coughs> Depending what the space is, it might be harder or easier for you. So, against the wall, as many times as you can. For a minute. Okay, are you ready? Hitting the ball against the wall for one minute, starting now. Okay, brilliant. So we've done some tennis against the ball. We're going to now come back to our tennis ball ourselves. We're going to grab ourselves a drink. And we are going to use the tennis ball. So what we're going to do now is we are going to turn the tennis ball around our body, just like this. So 10 times. Okay, we're going to throw a catch. We'll try to. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to turn this hat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now what you can do is try throwing it from the right hand and catch it with the left hand. You ready? One, and back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So we're going to go back to our challenge on the wall. One minute. How many catches off the wall can you do? Are you ready? You can either march or you can jog while you're doing it. Are you ready? Steady. Go. Two, three.
for me which isn't bad so what we need to do is we're going to do exactly the same thing again but this time it says two hands you're going to try and catch it with one you may want to stand still or you might want to jog it is up for you we're going to try for 30 seconds have a rest and then redo it to see what you can do are you ready ready go one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, stop there. So I got twenty with my right hand. So we're going to repeat it again, see what you can do. Try jogging this time if you are marching. Are you ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no! We're going to start again. Keep going if you're still going. 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, practice doesn't mean perfect, but it makes you better. So we're gonna try once more, in with your right hand. Make sure you're jogging. Are you ready? Steady, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 for me. So if we're really up for the challenge, what we're going to do is try and find left hand. I'm going to stand still for the first 30 and then I'm going to test myself by jogging on the spot. Are you ready? Left hand, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep concentrating. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 10 to go, 13, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and stop there, 24 for me, so this time we're going to jog, okay, try and challenge yourselves to keep fit a bit, get the heart out, calories are burning, are you ready, ready, go. Harder jogging on the spot. And stop. Okay, so we've got something to practice there. Practice one hand catching on our left and one hand catching on our right. So we're going to bring the tennis racket back. What we're going to do is bounce as high as we can while jogging the spot. If you can, you're going to turn doing it. So, are you ready to do this with me? So, start by bouncing the tennis ball on the racket. And when you feel comfortable, start turning. Brilliant. Well done. Okay, let's give it another go. You ready? As far as you can, turn around, bounce ball and test racket. Brilliant. Are you ready for another challenge? We're going to squat as we tennis racket. Are you ready?
concentration is key. Okay, not bad. What else do you think we might do? We could do some leg kicks. So, as I do, I can swing my legs. Three, four, five. Four. I can lunge. So, get the ball back. Lunge down, lunge up. Lunge down, lunge up. Or you can test yourself even more by doing jump. Jack, as you do it. So, tuck jump. Go collect the ball if it goes missing. Are you ready? Tuck jump. Are we ready? Back on. Tuck jump. Tuck jump. Tuck jump. There's loads of different things you can do with the tennis racket and the ball. I think the tuck jump is a big challenge for you if you're able. So, ball on the racket, go into a nice bounce, and when you're ready, tuck jump. If you're able to, we might want to bounce as well. So, bouncing the ball as we do it, and we should do things. So, I can do star jumps as I'm bouncing the ball. using our legs but we're losing our arms and we're exercising our mind to keep our concentration going so my two challenges for you would be the tuck jump if you can get up to five of them that's brilliant and also the star jumps so bounce ball we're doing jumping jacks. If you want to, you can use your other arm for you. That's definitely a challenge to keep you going. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the one minute challenge against the ball, catching with two hands, jogging as fast as we can to see how much we can be. Grab yourself a drink of water and get ready for the challenge. Are you ready? Steady, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Ball, it doesn't matter and if you haven't got a racket it doesn't matter okay. it is easier to do it with a saucepan if you can if you have a ball no racket use a saucepan okay and you can easily do that so ready touch up okay it may take some practice but that's what we're going to do if you haven't got a ball, wrapped up socks, works good. Just need a bit more bounce to do it. So, to finish our tennis activity, we're going to go back to our sprints. So, we have got yellow in the front, red to the side, green to the other side, and blue back here. We are going to go yellow, blue, red, green. As far as you can for a minute. Always come back to the middle. Are you ready? Ready, go. Okay, and you can add in tennis swing if you want. Some backhanders. Back to the middle. If 
you want, you can use your bracket. So, in a bit of position. Okay, the choice is yours. So, I hope you have liked this afternoon's activity with Keep Essex Active. What you need to do is make sure you comment you like on the YouTube channel, you keep up with all the different exercises during the week and you make sure you warm down, cool down properly and enjoy the sunshine for the rest of the day. Good luck. <laughs>